So when you've put the wheel back on, axles in, all of that is done. What we, is so important, whether these calipers sit on dowel pins here or sit flat face to face, is to have this nut just off a of finger tight on all four of them. That way, that allows the, ro the actual caliper to flex and move in position. So the purpose now is to get this caliper perfectly aligned with the rotor. So what we're going to do is spin the wheel and hold that on and now go ahead and tighten the caliper bolt. And then walk, check it again, make sure you've got what you need. You will torque it afterwards. But for now, we want it as close as we can get it. And then go to the other side, reach around and do the same thing. Keep the brake on, snug them up first. Okay, so now that sets both brake calipers perfectly in line with the rotor. And what we're looking for there is then, when we spin the wheel, it should spin freely. So that's nice and free. And now we can guarantee when the pads hit the rotor, you get full bite from both sides, giving you maximum stopping power. The other thing that's pretty important is that when the wheel spins, you should get a constant noise from drag from the brake pads, so let's take the microphone off and put it right against the rotor, and it should be a constant noise. So doing that and getting that constant noise says the rotors are straight, everything's in line. If it was then we got a problem with a brake pad being out of whack, out of alignment, a stuck piston, possibly a rotor being bent. So that requires a lot more investigation. But that nice, smooth, constant sound means everything we've got here now, setup wise, is good to go. And we can get out on the track and know that our braking is going to give us all that we need. To schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemostuning.com.